Are you a lazy piece of crap? Well, I've got just a recipe for you. What makes this recipe amazing? You only need soy sauce, honey, and short ribs. Cornstarch is optional, but um, who cares? I mean, if you're too lazy to start cooking a huge meal, so simple. I'll show you guys right now. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Beautiful, fatty, sticky, delicious marble short ribs? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. We're going to make them. They're going to be sweet, soy saucy, amazing. Let's get to it. So set your oven on broil so it can preheat for about 20 minutes, half an hour at 160 degrees, which is 320 degrees Fahrenheit. And add just a bit of oil to a pot or a tray that can go into the oven, like a Dutch oven or a roasting tray like I have here. And if you don't have a lid, then just get some aluminum foil to cover it up when it goes in the oven. So this is about a pound, I mean two pounds, sorry, of short ribs with the bones removed, which your uh, butcher can do for you. So it's no big deal. All right, guys, so I'm basically browning my meat here. And why am I browning my meat, as you can see? Because browning meat is, uh, you know, when you uh, fry your meat, it's a different flavor than when you just boil your meat. So you want to get it that good, you know, crust on it, and then it'll taste better in the final product. Okay, so once you've browned your meat, preferably on all sides, I was in a rush, so I just did the top and bottom. But anyway, once you brown your meat, it's time to add your ingredients. So for two pounds of beef, I added two huge heaped tablespoons of honey, and then I added about the same amount of soy sauce. And this is really up to you. You can start with half the amount of honey and half the amount of soy sauce. And if you like it sweeter, add more honey. If you want it more soy saucy, just add more soy sauce. So anyway, there you saw I added some salt, about a teaspoon, and now we're mixing everything together, mixy mix. Then add some water. You can cover the beef entirely, but even halfway is good enough, like half the height of the short ribs, because we'll check on it in the oven every now and again, and we'll be adding water anyway, if it goes below the halfway point. So now, uh, once it comes to boil, cover it up, and put it in the oven for two hours, checking occasionally, close the lid. Ooh, buddy. All right, so after two hours, this is what I had. If this is thick enough for you, you can skip the next step. And uh, look, I'm cutting through this with a freaking spoon. A spoon! Crazy. So here I'm just going to thicken up the sauce with about a tablespoon of cornstarch, which I'll dissolve in water. But by the way, I just want to mention here that after the two hours in the oven, the sauce might be very intense. So if you want to lighten it up a bit, just add some more honey and soy sauce and mix it well. Anyway, so uh, mix the cornstarch with your fingers and then pour it into the sauce over low heat and give it a good mix for a few minutes till it thickens up. It won't lighten up the color too much, don't worry. You'll still have that amazing deep brown color when you mix it up. Okay, and after a few minutes, oh my god, look at that freaking sauce. So thick, so rich. I'm getting hungry just looking at this right now. This is a good time to take it off the heat when it's all uh, thickened up like that. And uh, yes, uh, I agree with myself. So uh, let's taste this. All right. I need a minute. Speechless. No words to describe this thing. Listen, you guys need to make this, and you need to make it now. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, comment if you want other recipes of uh, things that I can show you. Very easy stuff. And that's it. Bye bye now. Bye. Bye.